The Battle of the Islet was a battle that took place during the First World War in August 1918, on the banks of the Islet between Lorn and Ain. Chapter 1 Background After the Battle of Amiens, the forces of the Entente, led by Marshal Foch, planned a large-scale offensive on the German lines in France, the various lines of advance converging on Liege in Belgium. Blocking the road to Paris between the Somme and Aisne, the Islet and its canal linking the Oise and Aisne served as retrenchment for a number of soldiers of the Imperial German Army. Though it was a largely unknown Battle of the Hundred Days offensive during the First World War, the Islet was the scene of fierce fighting between the French and German forces for its control from August to September 1918, before it returned to the French in October. Chapter 2 The Battle August 15, having noticed that von Eben's army is widely spread from Ordigny Court to Morsan, Mangin decides to take advantage of it. So on August 17, at 5 a.m. he attacks and seizes a position around Autreches with the French 7th and 30th Army Corps. The next day at 6 o'clock in the evening, they assault 10 kilometers of front and advance 2 kilometers taking 2,000 prisoners, while losing 60 killed and 300 wounded, having thus approached von Eben's first line. August 19, in the evening, Mangin holds a line through Bally, Tracy Laval, west of Nampsel, or Dignicourt, Vassens, Morsan, Nouvren, Ving, and Fontenoy. 20 August, on the right, northwest of Soissons, Tartias is taken, in the centre the infantrymen gained access to the plateau of Ordignicourt and took Lombry and Brancordel while on the left, despite relentless resistance, the Germans retreat towards our scamp. During these manoeuvres 8,000 prisoners are taken. Nampsel, Carlepont, and Kazans are regained. August, 21, with the support of tanks, Cuts is captured, lost and recaptured. Blerencourt is taken after a hard fight. On the road to Nouillon between Sampigny and Pontoise, a raid reached the Oise and gained the woods of Carlepont and our scamps by threatening to surround them across the Oise, and the rest of the Lassigny Massif that Humbert will occupy bordering Divet. August, 22, the 1st Bavarian Division hastened to the rescue and was attacked, by the afternoon, the French troops advanced to the Oise up to Quiasi. On the right, Towards noon, they occupy the hill to the east of Pamier, to the north reach Bagneux and further round Pont saint mard 23 August, in the evening, after taking Quiasi and Manicamp, Mangin's army borders the Islet Canal on Tagunny and takes the station of Juvini and the plateau between Cuffies and Pasley. Chapter 3, Aftermath 